Hey everyone, so welcome back to no, no Go Tutorials and uh, last week Bethany commented on one of our videos uh, saying that she enjoys the channel, she like you know uh, found our channel and everything so first of all thank you Bethany and she needs a video about uh, budget tracking app and like you know expense tracking app so in today's video we're going to do a quick tutorial of uh, expense tracking app so let's jump into it all right so let's start with the databases so we're going to create data types to capture the expense and uh, option set to define the expense types so let's define the expense type first so it's going to be expense type and uh, i'm just going to go with few expense type not all of them so one would be rent other could be travel and then could be food for example let's just move with these three you can add more if you want to so like they, they can be a lot more type of expenses then going to back to data types and we, the by default bubble gives you the user data types and uh, for, for this new one we're going to name it expense to capture the expense so in the expense we're going to create essentially three fields that would be expense amount we just call it amount going to be number and then uh, expense type and this is what you have created in the expense type in the option set so I'm going to refer to that so that it has a list of all the options you have created in the option sets and then uh, we're going to capture the expense date so it's going to be date so these three fields are important for now and let's like you can add more functionality and more uh, data types into this as per your requirement we're just creating a basic expense management solution so you'll you'll get the idea of how it's how it works so now to capture the expense we're going to start with the input field oh it's too big just need to add it again sometimes bubble do this where it gives you the extended anyhow so it's going to be Enter amount is going to be uh, integer, and then we're going to have drop down, which is your which is a dynamic option, is the option of expense type choice source is all expense type. And we want to show the current options display. So we want to show the name of the uh, option uh, expense type. And the third one would be to time and date picker. So we're going to capture a date of each expense. And this is going to be date and just rename it to expense. Okay, that's it. This is drop down A, which is expense time. This is the amount the naming is perfect and let's add a button to add them to databases this is going to be add expense. now user can input uh, the amount here can choose the expense type can select the date of the expense and add expense it should save the data in the databases so what we're going to do we're going to define a workflow for this button so we're going to start a workflow so on the click of this we should create a new thing in the database which is expense and in each field we are going to define uh, where to pick the value from so for the amount it's uh, input enters amount value for the expense date it's date picker expense dates value and for the expense type it's uh, where is it yeah drop down expense types value so it's going to uh, store three values in the databases once it's stored, I'm, I'm, I'm also going to reset the value. Uh, so reset input so that uh, the, whatever we type in the amount, it doesn't stay there. It should reset after every addition. So that's it. Uh, this is uh, this is to uh, store the value in the data database. Let me just put it here. In fact, let's just group them together. All right so we can store it here 
after that we are going to show all the expenses which are added by the user so what we're going to do we're going to add a repeating group and uh, we are going to uh, we are going to show it, sort it, or group it as the expense type. So type of content is expense type, data sources, all expense type. That's it. I'm going to say full list, number of rows one, that's it. All right. And uh, again, we're going to add, uh, let's just add a text here. For now, like, you know, let, let, let me show you how to add, like, just give you two rows so you will see what are the changes we are making into this so this is going to be the inserted dynamic data this is going to be current cell expense types display so this will be the name of expense type so rent food travel and let's also add so each expense type uh, type will have multiple entries so there will be multiple entries for food like for, for, for different dates but uh, so then again we are going to add one more repeating group inside this repeating group to have that list of uh, expenses defined by this expense type repeating group put two rows now the type of content for this repeating group is the expense. So you are essentially showing the expense. So we're going to uh, do a do a search for expense where the expense type is equals to cell cell expense type, and we can sort it by uh, like let's say uh, we can sort it by. Let's just keep it uh, created date for now or let not even do anything for now. Yep. Yeah. So uh, now we're going to add text in here to show. So we're going to add the amount of the expense. So current cell expense uh, amount. I'm going to add one more text. To show the date, it's going to be current cell expense, expense date. All right. Let me also just make it a yeah. Keep it for like this. Let's just preview it and see uh, if you can add the expense and if you can show the expense on the different. In, on this part so if, as you can already see these these already have a three distinctive uh, like you know grouping rent travel and food so we're going to add amount let's say adding and, and let's add rent and for today so we are here to add uh, 10 to be 10 uh, is the amount and the date let's add another one 20 for travel Let's leave it yesterday so you can you'll see it here again at 30 on print for first you see it here now the whole idea is to uh, provide the analytics of these expenses to the user so the ma major chunk of all the expense management is to provide the analytics either in forms of pie chart or line graph or any sort of uh, graphs or representation you want so even if we add one more thing here for like you know five for food on first it will add here again let's add two for food you can add them here all right so let's go back and see how we can provide the analytics for this so I'm just going to do one more thing since all the expenses should be uh, should be uh, created against a user uh, for, for each and every user they will be creating in their own dashboard. So we're going to map all these uh, expenses created by the user to the user. So let's say if we had a header here so that user should be able to sign up or sign in. All right. 
so let's just leave it here put it here and let's add add this uh, use this space to provide the analytics so for this i'm using this uh, free plugin provided by the uh, bubble it's line bar chart if you are looking for this it's uh, go to plugin click on add plugin click on look it says opening yeah Chart. So this is the plugin. You should install this. Uh, it's provided by Bubble, and it 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 has all the pie chart, bar chart, and line graph and everything. So I already have this installed in this. So let's just use it, and uh, yeah, place it here. So I'm going to use a uh, use it as a pie chart. So it will have all the distribution of your expense types. So let's uh, start with uh, type of data is the expense. Data source would be do a search for all the expense for now. Uh, later we can, uh, later I'm going to add a constraint as uh, expense created by is the current user. So that only logged in, you signed up user can see their own expenses. All right, so right now we're going to see all the expenses. So what we need is we're going to group them group them by the expense type. So let's just say group by and the grouping is expense types. So it's going to match the exact value of the expense type name and uh, aggregation is the sum, the sum of amount. So what it's going to do, it's going to group them by uh, rent, for example, in terms of option type, uh, expense type. And then going to add all the uh, expenses in that in that uh, expense type. All right. So this one and the value expression is your current value. Uh, expense types. This no sorry, my bad. Uh, sum of amount. So the the amount um, the value we're going to see on hover is the uh, sum of amount, and the label expression is current point expense type. Display. So let's check this out. Let's preview this. Fantastic. So currently we have, uh, you see, uh, 10, 10, 30 in rent. So in rent, there's 40. In travel, there's 20. So this is 20. And in food five and two seven, so it's seven in food. So now we can add more options. The pie chart is going to uh, uh, group more element by the expense type. Third thing comes in uh, that if you want to uh, uh, show this pie chart for a certain duration, so we want some sort of starting date and end date, end date to see how how much you have spent in this in that duration. So we're going to add two values here uh, quickly, the date picker. So I'm just going to have two dates here. So this will be the start. And it's going to copy paste it. And this is going to be the end. So all I, uh, now all you need to do is in the, in the search for expenses, at a constraint that uh, uh, what's the bucket where you want to see this value, the starting date and the end date. So where you go to the expand date, expense date should be uh, yeah lesser than and equals to, sorry, greater than and equals to the uh, date picker, start date value and the expense date should also be lesser than equals to the end date value. So now what, what will happen once you select these two dates is going to uh, show that it's going to uh, take all the expenses before the uh, after the starting date and before the end date. So let's check it out.
All right. So since we have that two constraints applied, the pie chart won't be uh, visible by default. So we're going to select first and third. Now it's going to populate these two things. So again, since all these things are between first and second, first and third, it will show. If we change it to uh, let's say third, second and third, it's only going to show two things: travel and rent, because all the food uh, dates were December first, so before the starting date, but we are selected here. So yeah, this was pretty much it to build uh, to uh, to basically the fundamentals of the expense management app. Now you can build a lot of lot more things on top of it, like you know, the the uh, sorting feature, the last seven days, last thirty days metrics, whatever you want to do, and to create different uh, like let's say if you want to show different sort of uh, analytics as in in terms of pie chart or bar chart, you can do so by changing this option here. Or similarly, you can what you can do is you can create uh, multiple states, multiple uh, groups uh, with defining the chart type, and then on and off uh, using the uh, button or using the uh, custom states. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Thank you. Bye.